Hey man, I'm rocking with Digit Fam, Major Group, man. If you ain't rocking with Digit Fam, man, you're losing, man. You heard me, man? Appreciate that, man. All right. Let's go ahead and tell me, um, what's the latest project you got going that you're pushing right now? The latest project I'm pushing right now. Hey. Hey. The latest project I'm pushing right now, man, is the next to blow project, man. Man, get greatness, man, from New Orleans, man. I'm telling you, man, y'all. I'm one of the realest DJ you find in the world because this shit was hosted by DJ Drama. But I got him out here in the streets like it's my baby mama, nigga. <laughs> you feel me, my nigga? Running through these trenches, my nigga. Dog is like, he's so humble, man, to push this nigga dog like, like um, I don't know. I, I would say like college, like a professor, you have a class. And certain kids just can't learn, they just don't listen or whatever. Dog is one of them kids that you want to sit in the front seat. You feel me? That he listen, and he just do his thing, man. And everywhere he go, people just take to him. After the first hoop, they start singing the second hoop. This shit is crazy. I never seen it before, man. I'm so excited to work with him. When I met him, he told me I was gonna be excited to work with him. This, this is what I'm pushing right now. Man. I ain't lying to you. Man. This is what I'm pushing. Oh, um, yeah, man. You currently on tour, and how long the tour? Well, we do like, we do like, um. We work like firemen and nurses and doctors. We, we go seven days out, stay home about five, six days. Seven days out, stay home for five, six days. Because everybody who's on the road got families, they got responsibilities. And back in the day, people tore for months and months and they lost their families, lost contact with their kids and all that type of stuff. We're not doing that. We're trying to make it work. So we do like seven days, a couple of days off, seven days out, a couple of days, you know what I'm saying? So we can balance what we do. Yeah. Push up, push up, push up. All right, man, um, who, who was the first artist you broke in the like mainstream status? The first artist that I broke, like, broke from sky was JT Money. I said that I broke, like, like, like took this record and really, really push it, you know what I'm saying? That's my first artist. Dig that, dig that. All right, um, other than my man, any other artists you working with that, that we should be looking for? Working for Lil St. Louis, man. Whoa! We got, we got Catastrophe. You know what I'm saying? We got Lil St. Louis. We got Cannibal. Colonel Loud. Chaotic. Man, see more stuff. Man, I got, I got the streets. I'm, 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 I'm trying to save them out the streets. Before them people trick them out of the street, man. I'm just gonna make it short. Big that, That's what we do, man. Cause like I said, a lot of people, a lot of rappers got good music. They ain't got no money, no connects. Nobody here. I, I go out here and I find them, man. And I, I give them life. You know, sometimes I try to help find an investor to help them out or whatever. Cause that's all they need. And most of the guys that's doing this, they don't know half about what's going on. They just rapping. They don't know about the business, they don't know nothing. So I'm just here to teach them what I can. You feel me? There you go, man. All right, um, I guess you just kind of touched on that, but what what, I, what advice would you give somebody, you know, up and coming in the game? Up and coming in the game, make good music. Listen to the music on the radio and listen to the, to the artist that's making it and try to make something close to what they have or in that same realm. Quit trying to think you know it all and know everything because you're gonna fail. Because if, if, if it's working, if you ain't got millions of dollars to change rap, don't try to change rap. Don't try to come with something new unless you got money to push it. Don't give a damn how good your new shit sound. If you ain't got no money to push it, you just gonna keep it. It'll be new to you and your mama then. <laughs> Real spirit. All right. Man, really, that, that about it, man. Um, anything else you wanna promote? We ain't touch on. And uh, a dude just told me something inside that really kind of, kind of rubbed me the wrong way. He said, "What do I think when I do mix it? What do I think? Do I think people with money does it better or talent? Because he says a lot of no talent people making it. Now. It pissed me off because how the fuck can you make it without no talent? How can you make it without no talent? Who's gonna pay to see you without no talent?" Who's gonna buy your record without no talent? Maybe you don't like the artist, 
I may be, this artist sound better than that artist, but you gotta have talent to sell a record. You gotta have talent for people to pay to come see. And I hate when broke ass niggas kept saying like, this nigga making it because he have money. Because you have, you have a budget and you gotta have talent too. They both go together, a budget and talent. Don't ever say somebody's making it and they don't have no talent. People don't pay to see people with no talent. Watch out for Maserati promo, man. We in Tennessee, man. He run Tennessee, man. He don't just run Jackson. He run Tennessee, man. Maserati promo, man. I fuck with you, man. For real, man. You can have one of my favorite moms.